Welcome to our first episode in Basic Excel. This episode is called Parts of a Spreadsheet. Today we're going to learn about all the different areas of the spreadsheet you'll see when you open up the program. Starting with our column labels. Here we have A, B, C, and so on. Those go straight across. You can click on them and highlight the entire column if you like. We also have our row labels off to the left. These start with one and number up to about one million. Uh, once we have data in here, we can begin to use our scroll bars here on the side. You can see scroll wheel on your mouse if you'd like to go up and down. And we have a scroll bar on the bottom should your data get wider. And here are these three little dots next to the bottom scroll bar. Uh, we get our little resize cursor and we can actually click and drag that and make it smaller. So if you happen to have a lot of sheets down here for your spreadsheet, you can make that narrower, leaving yourself more room. Speaking of sheets, we have our sheet one. This is the default sheet that opens with the program, uh, but you sometimes need to have more. So we have our little plus button over here. Notice when I hover there, it says new sheet. You click on that, it will add another one and so on and so on. If we go back here to sheet one, we can double click on sheet one and we can rename this. We can call this new name and simply by typing that in. In addition, if you right click on the tab, uh, you can change the tab color. We'll change this one to a nice bright orange and so it stands out a little bit better. That will help us to see which uh, different sheets relate to different areas of the that we're working on. We also have down here at the very bottom left uh, where it says ready. This is a status bar and you will notice this from time to time as uh, different activities are happening in Excel. You'll get different messages down here that will tell you what's going on. If we look off to the bottom right now, uh, you'll see some different views you have. Uh, normal view is what I work in most of the time, but there's also some page layouts and page breaks. Page break is nice from time to time when you have lots of data in. Let's put a few things in here. And this will show you exactly what things will look like uh, when you try to print. And these little blue lines show you where the page breaks are going to be and you can simply click and drag those around if you need to adjust where those fall. Let's go back in here to our normal view. And at the very bottom right we also have our zoom. Uh, we can make everything bigger here which will make that last part we did a lot easier to see. Or we can make it smaller should we choose. Notice so when I do that it does not change the font size so this does not affect how anything prints only how it displays on your screen. Next, let's look up here at the main thing that kind of gets everybody a little uh, intimidated, and this is the ribbon. Uh, the ribbon replaced the menus back when we went to the 2007 version. Uh, there are several different things we can have up here. Notice we start with our home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view. There's also our little help button right up here. It says, tell me what you want to do. You can simply click in there and start typing, and it'll uh, give you some hints on uh, how to do exactly what you're needing to do. Um, as you're working throughout Excel, uh, from time to time there will be additional ribbons up here available and those are contextual. They will open and close automatically depending on what you're in. For instance, there's one for charts. Um, once you are in a chart and you're trying to edit it, there will be additional ribbons available. And we can simply click on the different ribbons and this will give us all of our different options and we're going to go through a lot of these in the videos to come. And if you like, if you're, if you're getting really familiar with it and you're ready to try to find something you know you need, you can hover your mouse somewhere here over the ribbon and use your scroll wheel on your mouse and scroll back and forth between the different ribbons. Uh, over here on the bottom right there's a function here called collapse ribbon, this little caret symbol. Click on that and that will hide the ribbon for the time being and just kind of gets it out of the way if you need a little bit more room to work. Uh, you've got some data and it's just hiding off the edge of the screen. You can do that and uh, get it there. All you have to do is you click on any one of these ribbons and it just drops down over the top of your data and you get it back. If you want it back for good, once you click on one of them, you come back over here and click the little push pin and it'll pop right back into place where it was.
the last thing we will go over in this video is the quick access toolbar up at the very top. Now this is a neat little feature that I really enjoy. Uh, by default, we've got a few options up here. We've got save, undo, and there's a drop down next to the undo that lets you see all the different stuff I've done since we I opened this up. I can undo any of those. Got a redo button. Um, once you undo one thing, it will appear and let you redo that as well. Got a quick print. And then I have a couple that I've added that I like to keep up here. There's print preview and print, which is a nice feature. I can click on that and I get a, a print preview of exactly what I'm looking for. I will click the arrow here just to go back. And over here, I also have added the new. So if there's functions you use a lot, of, uh, these are great to put up here. You can simply click here to customize this quick access toolbar, and you've got some basic options of things to put up here that you might want. Uh, if you want to get really in-depth, you can go to more commands and you have any command available uh, in Excel. Uh, you can drop onto this quick access toolbar wherever you like. Or if you know where it is, um, you can add it up there pretty easily. Let's go here to the paste button. If I right click on that, I can add this directly to the quick access toolbar. And that button shows up there fairly quickly. I can also, if I choose to get rid of that, I can right click on it while it's up there and I can remove this from the quick access toolbar. So there you go, just a very basic introduction of the parts of a spreadsheet. Uh, hopefully if you follow us along through some of the more videos, um, you will get a better idea of how to use Excel. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be talking about cells and ranges.